Hello, welcome back. Um, we've had some questions about how to do a chart in a chart, or really what is a tooltip chart. And you know, when you hover over a chart, you can see another chart pop up. So I actually have one here in the EU versus US. We have two geographies, and you see when you hover over the US geography, you get these really cool charts that actually link up to the um, zip codes in the chart. So you can have a chart in a chart, or really it's a tooltip chart, is how I guess it's probably defined. I don't have that in, in the European data. But if you think about it, it's super nice for you to take a pie, like a pie chart, and here we have created this pie chart in Superstore videos, and it's got you know technology component, furniture component, office supply component, and it's a pie. And, it, and the pie is great, and we went through how to create this pie chart in one of the other learning videos. But you know, you can add another dimension to this pie. And the best way to add another dimension to this pie is to add another chart. So it's, over here we have this profit analysis. It builds them out by different components, by subcategories. And we have a category pie. Hmm, kind of relationship, right? Category, subcategory. So you want to do this logically. So if you click on tooltip and you look at where you want to place it, you can just insert sheets and it was called profit expense now profit analysis yeah. let me make sure we pick the right one um, it was profit expense analysis let's just do profit analysis for right now and say okay and then when you hover over it we can actually look at the profit analysis by customer by by category as it breaks down we can actually take a normal chart, which is a normal pie chart, and add a whole other dimension to it, a whole other chart and tie of it. It's like when you click on it, you've seen these pie charts before, 50.79% technology. Well, that's just good. The pie chart itself tells a big story. But when you hover over it and you get the second part of this story, it's like, oh, and by the way, this is where we get the profitability by every customer and those kind of things. And you know, you just want to make sure if like, you see the error here, too large to show. Make sure you show a good chart in there. But you can actually add more than, more than one in here. So you could have gone in, come back to tooltip, and you could have added in, and we'll do it here, see if this will work. And we can take sheets, category line, which is also tied to category, say OK. Now when I do it, you see how it codes it? I can actually look at the category and how it lines up. In this case, the line changes and it coordinates with each section of the pie. So here I created two pot, two charts on top of a chart. So instead of just having a single dimension or a 3D type of chart, you can actually have a triple dimension chart because you can go to different dimensions of the data and just by hovering over and really display more rich information. So this is a very powerful combination and what I like to refer to as a chart in a chart because it's really a chart in a chart. And, you know, but was commonly known as a tooltip ad of a worksheet would probably be the more correct way of saying it. But I hope that this video helps. This is a powerful feature. It just really enriches your charts and just does fantastic things with them. Um, thank you and um, have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions. Remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm always putting out great context videos here and, you know, all these good things. So take advantage of that.